when you're born. I'm studying uh, media and radio in college and when I left college our radio lecturer he sent us all an email telling us about the course and he recommended that we all go along to it because it had different people from each department in radio so it had people from news, sport, production, programming so it was a really good time for me to do the course as well because I was only just finishing college and deciding what part of radio I wanted to get into. It was really, really beneficial because all the different people that were taking part in the course, um, they kind of went through their careers and how they got in, involved in radio and how they how they work each day and kind of how you'd how they recommended what sort of experience you need to get into their different departments. And then I think the most beneficial part of it was at the end they let everyone ask questions and then you could go up yourself and talk to them or ask them a question or get their business cards or kind of say, I'm really interested in getting into this, do you have any more advice for me? So it was brilliant because it was like face to face, it wasn't just emailing someone, it was actually meeting them face to face and making contact that way. I met the head of news of 98FM, Tim Gates, and I told her I was really interested in doing some work experience and she gave me her business card and said to get in contact so I sent her a few emails over a few months and then when she had an opportunity, when she had a space um, in her schedule, to, she, get, she brought me in for a week and then I kept, kind of kept in contact with her and went back and did more work experience again. So it was, and I was through that as well, I was getting more, she was doing news and I was getting more and more interested in news as well and I just loved the work experience placement there. After I went to the Get Your Foot in the Door course, that's how I got the work experience with 98 FM. And uh, the whole, I was doing it in the newsroom, and the whole newsroom were so helpful, everyone working in the newsroom. They were really good at giving advice, giving you feedback on work you've done. Tina herself trained, gave me so much of her time training. And then there was some spaces and opportunities over Christmas. She needed um, someone to do some shifts, so mm -hmm. she gave me some shifts over Christmas, so then that's how I moved on to freelance work. Community radio stations are the best way to get started because they let you get hands-on experience and then when you go to do work experience in a more established radio station, an FM radio station, um, it's it really is very helpful because you've got experience editing, you've got ex some experience behind a microphone and any experience you already have from the community radio stations will stand to you. Mm -hmm. And it's great on your CV as well because people see that you're interested and community, ra community radio stations as well are really open. If you want to try to do news, if you want to try to do editing, if you want to try to do some presenting. So I'd recommend people to go get in contact with their community radio stations. If people go to the learningwaves.ie website, um, they can see courses that are happening there and they can get in touch there. That's how I got in touch as well and got on the course and through that met people working in the industry and it was really, really, really essential to me getting, getting work now that I've gotten. Um, meeting people face to face, meeting people in the industry face to face is key to getting work experience and work experience is key to getting a job and if you're sending in it's very important as well to like make contact with people yourself maybe through emails but the fact that you're getting to meet them face to face it's it's almost like a little mini interview or something and you can give them your email they can give you their email it's it's like a such a valuable opportunity and if anyone sees courses they're interested in they should get involved and contact learningwaves.ie
Since the first workshop I did yeah. with Learning Waves, I was recommended to do the defamation course for news and another researching course for news as well. And there's always a really wide range of courses on Learning Waves. And I've gotten the opportunity to do more courses and meet because people in the industry as well would go to these courses. So even they're on the course with you, it's a good chance to meet them as well, meet other people. I would highly recommend Learning Waves to anybody involved, anybody looking to get involved in radio.